Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Zeno or Liam here and today we're bringing you guys my first car modding video for my Dodge Charger SXT. So for Christmas, if you guys saw the last video, I think it was up yesterday or two days ago, I ended up getting this new grill for Christmas right here. It's a custom grill and it goes on the front of your car. And I also got this frame for your uh, license plate as well to go around it. So today I'm gonna be heading to my grandpa's house and we're gonna be installing the new grill. Hopefully it ends up looking really sick and yeah, let's go ahead, head right on over there and yeah. All right, so let's get going. Just try not to hit this trash can backing out or any other trash cans for that matter. All right. Ooh, are we gonna hit it? Nope, we're good. Okay, so the first mod, obviously you guys can see is the grill. We're getting the grill, uh, custom grill put in today. Uh, me and my grandpa are gonna do that. And I'll show you guys the process of how to do that uh, when we get there. And then also I'm gonna be putting the little frame on the back as well as my grandpa got a Genesis Coupe frame to put on the back of his Genesis Coupe. So we'll go ahead and do all three of those things while he's uh, while we're there at his house. And yeah, um, a few things that I still need to address with this car is I do need to get touch-up paint for this car to go ahead and, you know, there's little dings here and there that if I get touch-up paint, it'll just make it look a lot nicer. And then... One of the other things that I do need to get is new headlights, new tail lights, and new blinker lights. Now, I don't technically need to get them, I just really wanna get aftermarket ones that are much better than the uh, stock OEM ones. So, um, I wanna get blacked out ones, that's what I'm gonna end up doing, but just give it some time, probably about a, two, three weeks or a month or something like that before I do something like that, so. Um, and then after that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting the exhaust system done. And then, we'll see what happens from there. I don't really know yet exactly everything I'm doing. I know I'm at least gonna do the lights, so. We're getting to my grandpa's house now. Genesis Coupe is sitting in the driveway. There she is, baby, 3.8 GT. So, all right. I'm gonna get out, get the grill out, and let's get started on this baby. All right, so we got the charger license plate on, cover. There it is. And I need to get some black screws up here because these look kind of stupid, but um, for now, the charger's on there. And then my grandpa's got the Genesis Coupe one on here, which looks sick too, right down there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put the grill on now. I'm popping some stuff off the hood. I think these are called the radiator, radiator covers, these things. Um, I'm pretty oh, okay. sure that's what they're called. Yeah. So these were like right yeah, here. Yeah, you were just looking at it first? Yeah. Okay, we'll just set them there. Yeah, that's how they were before. Yes. And then we popped them out, and then I believe you can pretty much get to the grill from here. Okay, you want me to take a quick look? Yeah. We'll All right, we'll show you guys in a second. All right, so from the factory, the Dodge Chargers from, I believe it's 06 to 010, or to 010, 06 to 2010, um, come with this factory, um, uh, it's called a grill frame, I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. And it comes with these tabs all connected right here. All these tabs um, along the side here, all connected within here. Um, see like that there, up top and stuff like that. And so that comes off. So to get that off, all we did was take a uh, flathead screwdriver and work around the edges until we pop these tab tabs off here like this and we just worked through every edge and it was pretty easy to pull right on out there. So we're gonna clean out, or actually we're gonna take these three parts out for the grill and then we're gonna clean it out, clean this off. And then yeah, I'll set it up while we take this out just so you guys can see that process a little bit easier. That was pretty self-explanatory. All it did was it took a little work and getting your hands a little bit dirty. So um, that's how you do it. Yeah, so flathead and these tabs here. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna show the tabs at an angle so you guys can kind of see where all of them are on the actual grill uh, grill frame itself, so yeah. Okay, so now we've removed the plastic grill here, and the way this was seated on here was, it was held by four screws, two in the middle. Right here is where one of them were, and the other was right here. So the two in the middle, and then you've got a screw on the passenger side over here, and a screw on this side over here. So to get this off, uh, we had a really tiny, uh, I think it was a Phillips head wrench to get that off. And then what we actually did was take vice grips for this side 
and clamp this little bit on here to get this side off right here. And then these four little tabs, you had to snap off right there, right there, right there, and right there. And it's easier to start with the passenger side to take the screws off right there, right there, right there, and right there. And so now we just cleaned the, uh, right here, this area, and the new grill is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and install this now. I think we're gonna have to drill, drill some holes. Yeah, just... All right, so on the grill, there's four little areas here to clip on to the, uh, or to drill onto the grill or the front of the car. So right there, right there, and right there. So what we did is, since you have to drill it, it's not actually the same way of just popping it back in with the tabs and screwing the, the four in on the side here. Since there's no center piece on this, it's just a straight, you know, full length uh, bar grill. So what we actually did, because we're gonna have to drill into this plastic here, 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 and here for the four corresponding circles. Um, we took tape and we put the grill on um, with these things to line up to this. And we marked little, little holes or little circles all up on here and not that, right there. And then right there as well. So that way, and then we're gonna drill into there and then screw in from behind. So yeah, that's all we need to do. I'm gonna put the camera down to, okay. for the process of drilling it. All right, so now there's four screws. One is right here, halfway in, halfway in. Hopefully you guys can see that. One's right here, halfway in, and the other's halfway in right here. So we're ready to put the grill onto it now. So here's the rest of the grill. I'm trying to be kind of quiet right now because it's early in the morning, but we um, got it on here fully now. And yeah, it looks really cool in this car on the charger. It looks super sick and it really makes the car look a lot meaner and stuff. And it's really just, it's kind of just screwed in there right now on these plastics. There's, see there's, if you could see it right here, there's a little tab right there, right down there. And then on the other side, and they're kind of just screwed in back there. So that's how it stayed. And it's really strong. It's actually stronger in there than the last grill. So yeah, I really like it. It's super sick. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. If you guys are interested, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below. And that's all I have for you guys today and peace.